welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be all day cleaning with me. I won't say that my house was overly messy, but every room was just slightly messy to where the whole house just kind of felt trashed because my husband was working a lot. He didn't have um, any days off for a while. And when he was working, he was kind of working the whole entire day. And then also the kids are home because it's summer. So I just kind of got behind on everything. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going around and cleaning the whole house. So I'm starting out with just making the bed. I knew I had some laundry to do and I feel like it always makes laundry feel less overwhelming when the bed is made. If I put the dirty, or no, if I put the clean laundry on the bed and the bed is all messed up, it can kind of feel like there's a lot going on. So I wanted to go ahead and make the bed first. Now, like I said, it is summertime and currently both of my kids are sleeping in the room with me and my husband. We kind of love it though. I think it's fun. It's like a slumber party every night. So the three-year-old will sleep in the bed with us. And then my six-year-old has been sleeping on this little bed in the corner. And honestly, it's made bedtime a lot easier for all of us. I feel like everyone falls asleep faster. I'm not like going back and forth between rooms all night long. And yeah, it's been like a fun little summer thing that we've done and we're all really enjoying it. So I'm just kind of making my son's bed over here in the corner and setting it up for him. Ooh, I had to show this book because it was so good. It's called 13. Oh, it was so good. It's a psychological thriller. I loved it. I loved it. Definitely recommend. I think the author is Steve Kavanaugh. Highly recommend. And also, if any of you guys have any thriller recommendations, please let me know down below. It's getting to the point where I'm starting to feel like I've read them all, when obviously that's not true, but I've definitely read most of the popular ones. So if you have any psychological thriller, domestic thriller recommendations, definitely leave them down below. So now I'm just going in with the laundry because it was sitting in those two little laundry bins in the corner of my room for a few days. And this wasn't the only load. This is the only load I put away. I did leave another load in the dryer, I have to admit, but I just wanted to get this out of my room. Now, if you guys missed my last video, I will say I thought it was a really fun one. It was a decluttering video, and one of the rooms I did was my closet. So my closet's been feeling really clean and decluttered recently. I'll have that video linked down below if you guys missed it, because I do think it was a fun one. Okay, so I actually filmed part of this voiceover, like clips throughout the video, um, a couple days ago. And then sometimes if I don't know what to talk about in certain parts, I'll like leave it for a couple days and come back. And I actually woke up this morning with a pretty bad head cold and my voice was pretty much gone this morning. I feel like it's a little bit better, a little bit better right now. But if you notice a difference in my voice in half of these clips, that's why. So moving on to the bathroom. I don't think it was too bad. I feel like for some people's standard, this might be pretty bad. And I feel like pre-kids Lauren, um, it would have been considered bad because me and my husband's apartment before we had kids was spotless constantly. And it's not the kid's fault that things aren't clean. It's, I feel like we both are holding so much in our brains constantly that sometimes I feel like I don't have the mental capacity to remember to do the things that I used to have to remember to do like put your makeup away or I'm always in a rush or whatever so I wanted to go in and just tidy this up like I said I don't think it was too bad but things needed to be wiped down the sinks needed to be like scrubbed out a little bit there was makeup left out so I wanted to go through and tidy that all up Mm. 
So speaking of prior to having kids to now, I'm an extremely extroverted person. I don't know if you guys can tell from watching me or not, um, but like from the introvert to extrovert scale, I'm definitely all the way extroverted. I do not like alone time. I hate being alone. If I'm feeling like down in the dumps, being in social situations like recharges my batteries. Like the idea of going to a party where I know no one and meeting like tons of people, that like recharges my batteries, which I know is weird to some people, but I'm just very extroverted. So before having kids, you know, I had some friends and I used to manage a European wax center. And then before that I managed a massage envy. So I was always around girls my age, but obviously after having kids, I just didn't really have friends. I kind of got sucked into just being mom instead of being Lauren. So my kids are six and three now, and my resolution this year was to be Lauren again, to feel like Lauren again, to make friends. I just don't, I didn't have any friends to be honest. I had um, one friend, but she lived in Raleigh, and then I moved to North Carolina as an adult. So I didn't, I just didn't really have friends before having kids and stuff. So I made that my resolution and I was like, I'm gonna put myself in uncomfortable situations. I'm just gonna ask people for their number or message them on Instagram. I joined Burn Boot Camp. I like started asking girls to hang out with me. And you guys, it worked. <laughs> like I have, I've made so many new friends. I went to a friend's house for 4th of July, like with my husband and the kids and she has kids. And then I have another friend now who has the same age son as my oldest and we hang out all the time and then they have play dates and I have another friend like I made like four friends <laughs> within the past few months I'm like oh my gosh I have so many friends now but I'm so excited about it so this is kind of my PSA if you're like me and you feel like it's impossible to make friends at this age especially if you don't have a place of work to go to and stuff try just like, putting yourself out there because it really worked and it's helped me feel a lot better Now, something I love is having a cleaning tool that will actually check off some of my to-dos while I clean. So that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Eufy. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to the new Eufy S1 Pro. This is the world's first floor washing robot vacuum with an all-in-one station. Now, obviously, it's beautiful, it's sleek, it has a very compact design, but this is for a purpose. So the actual vacuum has a square body design, which allows for easy cleaning of the edges as well as 90 degree dead corners. It also has an ultra slim body, which makes it able to easily reach low areas like under sofas or bed. And they even had the height of the station in mind while designing it. So the base station is actually taller than competitors. That way it's easier for people to access the touch screen and water tanks without bending over. Speaking of touch screens, I love that it has an LCD touch control panel. It's super easy and convenient to operate it. It also has an app, but I really like that you can do all of the controls and everything you need to right there from the base station. And let me tell you, this machine is powerful. So the vacuum has an 8,000 PA potent suction, which effortlessly sucks away hidden dust and debris deep within. And it has dual sided brushes to make sure it's not missing any spots. Now for the mopping, this vacuum actually uses an innovative rolling mop instead of the usual spin mops. And this just mimics scrubbing by human hands and helps to remove tough stains. And the S1 Pro has always clean technology, which shows 100% cleanliness under UV light by being equipped with dual water tanks. So the mop actually cleans itself 170 times per minute. That way you don't have to worry about bacteria and dirt being spread from room to room like you would with traditional Additional mopping so also during cleaning if a carpet is detected the mop actually lifts itself and recedes within the machine's body ensuring that your carpets will remain dry and clean while it vacuums and another really great feature is the s1 pro will actually map your home out 
This makes it easy to send the robot to certain rooms or areas. You can even set no-go zones or create a cleaning schedule. And it has 3D matrix eye obstacle avoidance, so it can detect and dodge every obstacle. This is awesome because you don't have to worry about like socks getting sucked up or cords getting wrapped around your vacuum. It's just such an amazing cleaning tool. It's great to have something that will kind of check off some of the to-dos on your list without you having to worry. It has auto emptying, auto refilling, auto washing, and auto heated air dry. And it's even equipped with a built-in ozone generator, which can remove up to 99.99% .99 of germs. So if you guys are interested, I will have the Eufy S1 Pro linked down below. It is such an amazing cleaning tool. And thank you so much to Eufy for sponsoring today's video. This room always feels so unfinished because it doesn't have a rug. I actually did a living room makeover in this room last year and I remember I was gonna do a part two but I never ended up doing it because I still haven't finished the room clearly. And I like how it looks so far but I haven't found a rug that I like enough to actually buy. First off, rugs are just expensive so I never want to buy a rug. But I feel like if I did buy one for this room, it would kind of tie it all together. But I don't, I don't really like any rugs that I've seen recently so I don't know but one day. Now I wanted to show this because I think every item that I'm putting here is thrifted. So I got this face from Goodwill for $2. This little wicker basket was a dollar. These books were from the book section at Goodwill. And the only thing that wasn't from Goodwill was the candle and the tulips, which were from Amazon. But I just wanted to show this in case anybody has been feeling like they wanted more decor for their house recently, but they don't want to spend a ton of money. I always recommend thrifting. I have so many thrifting videos on my channel, but go check out Goodwill. There's so much good stuff there. Okay, now moving on to the dining room. It really wasn't too bad in here. This is just kind of a catch-all where, you know, when we come in the house or we leave the house, we kind of just put things on this table. I say we, but probably me. It's, it's all my stuff. And then also, I just haven't fully decorated this room. I still don't know what to do with it. I still haven't hung up anything on the wall. We'll get there eventually, but I just wanted to go ahead and tidy this up so it looked a little bit cleaner. Okay, so now we are moving into the living room. This room was probably the messiest. And I will say, um, sometimes I get comments where there's toys where people are like, have your kids clean up. And while I do understand what you're saying, I just don't like to put them on camera. So if I'm doing a video like this, like you can see my computer in the background, I was editing and the boys were playing with their toys um, so I could get some editing done. But then I realized that I wanted to film some more. So I was like, okay guys, can you move to a different room and I'll clean this up real quick. So, um, yeah, so obviously off camera they do help, but you know, I don't love them being on camera, which is why you'll never see them clean their toys up, if that makes sense. But there was definitely toys everywhere. Thankfully we have this little basket under the coffee table that we just throw all the toys in and shove under the coffee table and it works out perfectly. Um, this basket I got on sale at Target, I think it was only $10 and it was like originally like 40 maybe but I always see big baskets like this at Goodwill for only a couple dollars and they work perfectly for throwing toys in. It's just an easy cleanup. It's great for younger kids that don't know how to organize like toys by different sets or whatever. Just throw it all in and shove it under the coffee table. Thank you. 
Okay, I would love to know, realistically, when are you guys ready for fall content? It's funny because I know that fall content and Christmas content has to go up super early every year, like early bird gets the worm on YouTube. And the reason being, is because if someone, like let's say Christmas, if someone put up a decorating for Christmas video like a week before Christmas, you've probably already decorated your house so you might not be interested in watching it. So the reason people post that like the first week of November is to kind of give inspiration and stuff. But man, it kind of shocked me this year when I saw everyone posting fall videos like on the 4th of July. I was like, ha, ah, oh my gosh, I'm behind, I'm not ready. So, um. I don't know, I was just wondering, when are you guys going to be ready to see fall content? Are you ready for it now? Because I can definitely start moving into those videos. Um, I don't know, I feel like everyone's different. I know some people that have been ready for fall. For some reason this year, I've kind of been okay with it being summer. It's been a good summer this year, and maybe it's because my kids are getting older. I feel like in past years, um, Having both of them home in the summer would be like a little crazy and overwhelming where my oldest is about to be seven now. So it's not as crazy having both of them home because it's, it's just not, it doesn't feel like I have two tiny little kids at home. Okay, so now we are moving on into the kitchen. I just had to get some dishes done. I needed to unload the dishwasher and reload with all the dishes from the day. So um, it wasn't too messy, but dishes definitely needed to be done. controversial question do you completely rinse off every piece of food liquid whatever off your dishes before putting them in the dishwasher because we always did and then when I first started YouTube and people were like I used to get a I guess a lot more mean comments I rarely get them anymore people would really comment like why are you rinsing it if you're just gonna put it in the dishwasher where I always thought you had to rinse it before putting it in the dishwasher but people said like no you just put it in the dishwasher does that my husband's like no you have to rinse them off but then there's been times where I've just put everything in the dishwasher unrinsed and it does get fully clean but I'm unsure if that actually messes up your dishwasher or not and I've noticed just from being on YouTube for so long that people are really split like 50 50 on whether you should rinse your dishes or not before putting it in the dishwasher so I would love to know your take on it So recently I've really decluttered a lot of the decor that used to be on my counters. I used to put a lot more decor because I wanted it to be cute so I would have decor in kind of every little corner that you could put decor and then on both sides of the stove. And recently I took most of it down because it was feeling a little cluttered and overwhelming. And I have to say I like it. At first I thought it looked a little too bare, especially because we don't have a ba uh, backsplash but I actually really like it now. I only have decor in this little corner that has the coffee maker and then on the other side of the stove that has um, the lamp. But other than that, I don't really put much else on the counters and I actually really like it. 
So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, I'm so sorry that my voice is so nasally. I've been re-recording this voiceover over and over and trying to blow my nose and I hope you could sit through it. I know if my sister watched this video, she would have to poke her ears out because she can't stand. She says it like gives her anxiety or makes her feel like she can't breathe if someone else does that. Is anyone else like that? She also like if she can hear someone's breathing, she matches their breathing or same with like their heart rate and then she'll make herself feel like she can't breathe. I don't know. So I apologize. Um, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to I have a lot of fun videos coming up. I have a lot of videos on my channel. Um, I do cleaning, decorating, um, decluttering, thrifting, just tons of stuff to watch. And if you made it all this way, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. But I hope you all have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.